DST Golf. How did you start? Uh, the concept came from wanting to strike the ball better. Um, so I basically uh, studied the best four ball strikers in history. I studied Ben Hogan, Lee Trevino, Mo Norman, and a guy called George Knudsen. And they all had vastly different golf swings, but they, the common denominator was that they all got into the same impact position. And that impact position was uh, very easy to see, but basically their main lever, their lead arm and the club shaft, got in front of the line of tension. And the line of tension you can see very clearly on this image over here of Ben Hogan. So you can see that the main lever goes down the lead arm and the club shaft, and the line of tension joins the lead shoulder to the club face. And if your hands are on the target side of that line, the club face is under control. And the sad thing is, is that 99% of amateurs get into a position where they want to help the ball get into the air. So they kind of lean back and release the club too early and scoop the ball up into the air. And that means that their club head arc is, or the bottom of the club head arc is behind the ball. So they lose control, they add loft, and they don't know which way the, uh, which way the ball's going to go. So I thought if I could build a golf club that replicates the shape of a normal golf club under its maximum load, I could physically force golfers to understand and feel the position that they need to be in to control the golf club through impact. So that's how it basically started. What sort of angle did, would you have compared to a normal golf club, like shaft lean wise? Like, is that the equivalent of 10 degrees, 15 degrees of shaft lean? Well, it's, it's not really about the shaft lean bit, it's, it, because the shaft lean changes with each golf club. So a shaft lean with a wedge is going to be more than a shaft lean with a driver because the ball position with the driver is further forwards. So again, it comes back to this idea that your, the main lever is in front of the line of tension. That's the thing to remember. So with a, with a driver, for example, you might hit the ball with a zero angle of attack or a, maybe one degree down or a one degree up. It doesn't really matter. But the most important thing is that the, your hands are in front of this line of tension, which means that the, the club face is just following your hands. It's rather like a truck and a trailer. If you've got a, a, you go in a forward gear with a truck and you've got a trailer following behind you, it's going to follow behind you under control all day long. But as soon as you put it in reverse gear, it's going to jack you like out of control. That's basically the same concept in the goal swing. As long as your hands are leading the club face, the club face remains under control until after the ball has been struck. But like most amateurs, if you scoop or if you release the club too early, you lose control before you've hit the ball, and that's when you get into serious trouble. So the golf club basically is designed to help golfers understand what they need to do so they can develop that feeling and sensation for themselves. The other piece of uh, technology we've incorporated into this golf club is, you see here on the hosel of the golf club, something called the hand position alignment marker. Okay, this line on the hosel. And if I show you from that angle there, Vince, you can see the lead groove on the club face, and you can see the hand position alignment marker. And if I, from, from the player's perspective, if I can line up those two lines and point them towards my eye line, then the handle of the golf club is going to be in the correct place. Okay. So you want the, that's it, there you go. Zoom out. Zoom out. And that's just really, yeah, how far forward. All right. Uh, and so that basically is a very simple way of helping golfers to locate, train, and perfect the optimal impact position where they're in control of the club face. Now, the really exciting news is that, if I can just reach behind you for a second, is that... We launched last year with the with this golf club, the Curb Shafted Training Club, called the Compressor. And this year, uh, the, the CR10 Club, the Straight Shafted Golf Club, again, it's got this hand position alignment marker on the hosel. This hand position alignment marker has recently been approved by the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St Andrews uh, as a conforming piece of technology. So we're in negotiations at the moment with lots of the OEMs to uh, either license this technology or be acquired in total. So this hand position alignment market can be incorporated into conforming golf, golf clubs right through from a sand wedge right through to a driver. 
and that's that's pretty pretty profound because basically for the first time ever, golfers will be able to understand where they need to be at impact to control the club face, and that's something that you know, hasn't really happened ever. I mean, if you, for example, if you if you ask most golfers, show me your impact position, they kind of look at you with a glazed expression, kind of like not knowing where that kind of optimal impact position is. So this really gives them the opportunity to understand where they need to be at impact. Describe what happens when you don't swing it right. Right, so basically, you can see from this perspective here that you can see the curve in the shaft, right? But if you look down the plane line, you can see the shaft is straight. Yeah. So if I come from an inside path, then the shaft develops a curve again and it wants to rotate, under-rotate, and the, you'll hit a high right shot. If you come from an outside path, the toe shuts down and you'll hit a shot to the left. But because the shaft wants to follow the path of least resistance, if you swing it on plane, the shots go dead straight. So you'll get lots of feedback very quickly and instantly, even without hitting a golf ball. Because you'll feel, uh, when you swing it correctly, you won't feel any twisting or talking in the grip. And also, that line through impact and address will be pointing up to your eye line. So it really does help the golfer in lots of different ways. And one of the byproducts of this is that in order to get into the correct position of impact, you need to get your weight forwards onto your lead foot and get your weight and body rotation, rotation through impact really well. And that's what these golf clubs help you with. Um, that's the reason why since we launched last year at this show, we've got more than 240 PGA and European tour players incorporating these golf clubs into their own training sessions. So, uh, it's, it's really boomed in this, this year and uh, we couldn't be more excited about the future of DST. So if you want to learn more, go to dstgolf.com, uh, click on the video gallery and just uh, immerse yourself in the, uh, in the online instructional videos there and uh, learn what other people have got to say about them.